actually, I have done the first research in the United States on the incidents of domestic violence in the Muslim community between 1998 and the year 2000. And I found the incidents to be approximately 10%, which is about the same as the national average in the U.S. I was shocked that it wasn't much, much less. I thought it would be 1% to 2%. When I'm talking about domestic violence, in that sense, I'm talking about physical violence. If we add to it verbal violence, psychological violence, emotional violence, and sexual violence, the figure would go up to at least 50%. And the prophet himself, peace be on him, never hit a woman, never hit a child. In fact, he actually said specifically about women, never hit your wives. A very clear statement, never hit your wives. He had several wives, but he treated all of them with great respect and with equality with himself. He didn't treat them in a condescending way or as if they don't have their own personality or as if they don't have a right to have their own view and to assert it. And so he functioned with them each as an equal and he encouraged them to have a, uh, an idea about themselves as a partner to him. If there is someone being tyrannical and practicing dhulm or tyranny against someone else, you should all together, and it's talking to the whole Muslim community, all together work against the aggressor, work against the person who's committing the tyranny until they become better, until they start to behave properly. There is a, a, a directive to, uh, to help people who are in that situation and to not just stand by idly and let the misery go on. You have the right, first of all, as a Muslim woman, to happiness. You have a right to have a life that is full of hope and dreams, where you're able to speak your mind directly and fully, where you're respected for who you are and how you think. A person who's a Muslim woman should expect the very best that's available to her. And in a family situation, family relationship, that's somebody who really wants as much good for you as you want for yourself. And when you see his face, it puts a smile on yours. And if you don't have that, you want to get to that spot. Mm -hmm.